Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> right now. If y'all cannot tell, I'm not feeling well. But I owe y'all this video. I told y'all I was going to get it to y'all. So, today we are going to be making the elastic waist beads. These are so pretty. And I'm not even like the one that likes colors. I'm like usually a very bland person. Bland colors, very bland colors. I like gray, nudes, different shades of nudes, different shades of gray, different shades of really low tone. Like it cannot be loud colors. But these waist beads right here, I like these. I do. I personally wouldn't wear them, but. I like them. And you can't even tell, like, looking at them, like, I honestly can't even find a class. I, I can if I look for it, but the class actually blends in with them. And I'm going to get into why I use this specific class. Okay, so this is a class right here. Uh, so I use a barrel class for my waist beads. I like this because it blends right in with the waist beads and it twists. It's really, really easy to apply. Um, you twist them on, twist them off, and it's done. It's really simple. You will use the class waist beads. Um, if, like, just say if you had a waist, I would just say that I would use the class waist beads if I had a waist bead with like a bunch, with like a big charm on there, or if I'm about to wear. Um, something that's like really revealing and I just wanted to put on a lot of waist beads. I would probably put on ones with class. It, it's just something that like you don't have to have that much of a commitment to. Like you could take them on, take them off whenever you please. So that's why it's easy. But so yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, we're going to do the ones that today with the class. Pretty easy, pretty simple. This string right here that I'm using right now is called Heidi Joe. Is a stretch cord. I specifically use this. I'm just using this right now just to show you guys a tutorial. I do not use this to sell to my customers. I do not personally prefer this string because as you can see in my waist beads. Let me just show you. I was testing this string out and I was like trying to test the elastic. A little bit of elasticity. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all get the point, right? I was trying to test it and I was like pulling. Like when I at first when I first made these waist beads, they were like really, really connected. Like there were no gaps, no gaps in between. I'm gonna show you how I did that. But it was like really, really solid, right? And then I started tugging at the at it and you see how it like start losing it elasticity unless i don't know if i'm saying wrong right 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 the right word but y'all get what i'm trying to say like it, it started losing it like it starts stretching out and i don't like that i wouldn't sell this so me personally i don't use this but what i do use is i can't find it um stretch magic cord and that has been working pretty good for me so far but I'm just going to go ahead and get into this video of how we do it. Alright, so, yeah, so just imagine that this was stretch magic cord, right? And if y'all could see, like, this cord, it looks like I've been using it for a while, y'all. I promise, this is the first waist bead I made off of this cord. Like, stretch magic, whatever. I'm not trying this, y'all, or nothing, but, like, that, no. That's what it looks like. It's medium. This is uh, 0 0.5 millimeters was exactly what i used in the stretch magic one for my c beads but these are i believe these are like four millimeters or six millimeter beads so they're a bit bigger if y'all can't tell from my other videos with my beads that i use and of course you're going to need scissors you want to need your beads of course your measuring tape right now this doesn't matter because i'm not making these waist beads specifically for anyone or for myself, I'm just making it specifically to show you guys how to add the clasp to your elastic waist beads. Right? And the most important thing you're going to need is the clasp tool. Um, this right here, I'm not exactly 100% sure the name of this tool. 
but it's called a crimp beading tool if I'm not mistaken and if you can see the difference between like the needle nose plier I believe that's what it's called the wire cutters these ones right here are specifically made for clasp and if you can see it has like little ridges in your um, which is going to be really really important throughout this video so make sure that you guys have the proper tool because this is really 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 crucial when you are making your clasp waist beads okay Whew. last but not least you're going to need a needle i'll use the same needle for my waist beads it is the venus beading needle um you can use a big eye beading needle it's up to you you don't necessarily have to use this brand but it's up to you um, also, I just wanted to add in. I know a lot of a lot of people were surprised about the things, about the um, materials that I use to make my waist beads. Um, and y'all were asking questions about where you could find them, where you can locate them, and everything like that. Right now, I do offer kits, a beginner kit, on my website, and it helps you create class. I meant permanent or elastic waist beads. Um, and it comes with a ton of beads, so like you could literally make maybe like. 20 waist beads for yourself out of the kit that I give you so like it's really really good and it's really inexpensive like and you're getting all the proper materials that you'll need to start your hobby or your business so really not that much but so I went in and I, I mean I have got this little thing I think this is so cute like y'all moms if, first of all if you're from the hood your mom or you know you shop at family dollar or whatever your mom shops at family dollar your mom has this in the bathroom i know my mom does i know a couple friends who moms do <laughs> have this in the bathroom but it's usually a bigger version right and they have like little things in there like bathroom accessories and stuff like that in there but i thought this was so cute to put my beading jewelry in like my beading accessories in there like that's decent but this is only a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, in here, I keep my barrel class, my charms, my crimp beads, stuff like that that I need. And today, first, let me cut this off because this, I'm not going to use this. Save the beads. Bruh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So don't be like me. <laughs> oh wow. I needed that laugh. <laughs> Sheesh. So somebody mentioned in my comments, right? Um, and if you are that someone, thank you because it you actually make sense. Um, that I was measuring wrong. I would I would usually start from one, but I never thought like to start from like the tape part, like the silver part. I'm guessing that's what she meant, um, because she was saying like that's where every, basically like that's where everybody would get confused that when they would measure, right? So I would do that because that do make sense. I guess wanted to start from zero instead of start from one. Like I would consider that zero, right? So I'm just gonna start from there, I guess. Cause I'm guessing that's how everybody will measure. I don't want to mess y'all up or be giving y'all the wrong information or anything like that. So yeah, let's just start from here. So I'm going to measure this just to be, I want to do a pretty short one because I want this to be kind of quick. Um, and I'm not making this for anybody and I don't want to really waste string. So this is going to be short. I'm going to measure, measure this about 30 inches. Um, so let's just say if I was making this for a person who was waist 25 inches, I'm going to add about five or six inch extra inches onto this elastic string because I need room to, you know, like put into the crimp bead, fold it up and stuff like that. Just room to play with. So you don't want to measure exactly your waist size. Like if you're a 25, you want to measure it a 30, a 34, just to give yourself that extra room. Not exactly. So the first thing that you're gonna do is, you're gonna have this crimp beat. This they have a bigger size. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope y'all can't see me, cause I look terrible. But they have a bigger size and they have a smaller size. I, I, th I would say that if you are doubling your string, if then you could use the bigger size. But for now I'm gonna use the smaller size. 
because I'm only using one sh one single string. Um, and when you would double your string, if you do not buy the proper size and you have bigger beads, I would say double your string. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slip my elastic into that crimp bead. As you can see, I hope y'all can see this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slip that in here, right? I'm going to take one end of the barrel clasp. It does not matter which end it is. I'm going to take that and I'm going to slip that on here, okay? Now, you have the bead and the clasp. The bead, or it should be like that, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to slide it through the crimp bead again so once i slide my elastic through back through the crimp bead it, it should look like this right so it, it should literally be like a crimp bead in the barrel clasp is dangling from the bead right that makes sense to y'all okay so you want to leave like a centimeter not too much room but not too little room away from that so it should be a space like your bead should still your crimp i meant your bear class but should still dangle right i want to take this so and i'm not we have different ridges on this thing and i like to say first is at the top the tippy top at right here and then you have second and you have last which is it towards the back we're going to be placing our crimp bead in the second so like the middle one and we're going to close it down like that around the bear around this bead and then we're going to move this bead the crimp bead up to the top right and when you're doing this you'll notice that it has that little fold you see that you're going to fold that bead like a hot dog bun and you're going to fold it with the top one with the with the first class you're going to close that down and that's going to secure your um your elastic so you see how it folded I'm sorry y'all probably can't see that I pray that this video is a success but it basically folded it and it is it, securing the elastic so like it's literally not going anywhere right so then the next thing that you're going to need you're going to need a um a bead cover a bead crimp cover and they look like this it looks like a bead like i have gold ones they come in different colors they come in like silver like bronze like those type of colors like metal colors and it's like open at the end right and it's open at the, it's a bead that's open at the end because you can literally like slip it around this crimp and it will give your weight speed like not such a tacky finish um and you're going to put place that open part around the crimp and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to use that first level like this this tip here and we're going to close that crimp cover Alright, so basically I'm going to use that first level and I'm going to close my crimp bead. Um, so as you can notice, right, let me just show y'all this. Because this is very, very important. Like, when you're going to close that crimp bead cover, it, it'll sometimes it'll close and it'll be like a point in and you can still see that it's a little bit open. You're going to take that and you're going to push those ends down. Like, you want to get that as close as possible. Like, because I promise you, it looks so tacky. Like, if you don't do it right. So, we're going to use that. We're going to close that down. We're going to make sure it's all we close. And basically, at the end, it'll look like this. Okay? So, to give it a nice jewelry finish, um, something that will blend directly in with the beads is not too... It, it, it's, it's perfect. Okay? Uh, probably not perfect, but whatever. It's perfect. Now, I'm going to take my beading needle, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread my string through the bead, the, the big eye needle, like, it should be pretty easy. For some reason, everything is just seeming not easy 
right now. So I'm going to bead, thread that, pull my string down to lock it into the needle. So it literally looks like that. And I'm going to get to 30. I mean, um, beading. And again, this is the same method as I use in the permanent and the elastic waist beads. I'm going to be pushing in an upward motion. My needle is a bit used and abused, so you can see that. <laughs> so, it kind of curves in an upward motion already. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread these, put these needles onto this bead. And y'all see y'all like, so I'm just going to stop here. I made it about the length to make like an anklet or a bracelet um it's it's all the same you know you make it a waist but you just make it longer the size that you need it it's literally the same um so what basically i'm going to go ahead i'm going to do the same thing that i did to the other side i'm going to unthread this needle and i'm going to basically do the same thing that i did to the other side add my crimp bead And then I'm going to add the other side of the clasp. Y'all really need to make pay, make sure that you're paying attention to the clasp because you'll be really upset if you add the wrong end. Um, make sure that this one is matching, like it goes inside or that goes inside of that. Not two of the same ends. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my crimp. And I'm still holding the crimp between my fingers. And it's only because I want to make sure I'm pushing my waist. This is how you, I'm going to compare these to waist beads though. So you basically want to make sure that, you're, that you are pushing your waist beads it's all together. So I'm going to hold my crimp because it actually might slide between the beads. And I don't want that to happen. So, because it's really tiny. It's really, really tiny. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the string this way. And I'm going to pull my beads all together so that there's really no gaps in between. And you see how they look? You don't want them to look like this. Let me show you. This is wrong. If they look like this, it's wrong. Like, if you can see, like, the separation, the spacing between the beads, that's wrong. You want to hold them all together tightly. And this actually takes some practice. This You probably won't get this right the first try, but that's okay. Um, if you do get this right the first try, perfect. But, see, all together, no spacing. They don't fall apart um and i'm gonna go ahead and where is my other piece okay and again i'm gonna take the let the other end of the last elastic and i'm going sorry off my hands ashy <laughs> and i'm gonna put it back through the crimp bead and i'm going to pull and again Pull all your beads. This string right here, this extra string is controlling your gaps between your beads. And you literally want none. Okay? So, then again, I'm going to take my crimp beading tool. And I'm going to put it on the second level. And I'm going to squeeze that tight. Also making sure I'm leaving a little bit extra room just to add in my clasp. Right? So once I squeeze that tight, see how there's still no room between the beads. That's great. Once I do that, I'm going to push those beads back a little bit just to give me some room. But now, when y'all do this right, the beads are still, like, I can, they're still able to pull between those things. It's up until you do this last closing when they're secure. So, you want to make sure that you're still holding that string. You want to make sure that you're still secure, making sure that your beads are still together. Like, you don't want to let, really, you, you want to pay attention to that. Um, and I want to make sure that there's room for my class. <laughs> That's why these beads, the, the class waist beads are a little bit more difficult. Because it really do take focus. Um, and once I have those together, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that, that um, bead, that um, crimp bead together. Right? And then once that's closed together, like, the beads, um, they're pretty good with the spacing. Like, there is no spacing in between them. 
as you can see from the from a crimp I'm going to take my crimp bead cover and I'm going to place it around that crimp like I said you're using the crimp bead cover to give it a, a, um, a really good finish on these beads and I feel like because these beads are colorful like in the glue it, it blends right in between right with it um, so if you were using like a different color like if you were using like white warrior blue red black colors like that like gold would definitely go but if you have like another color say if you're using like silver and white you might want to use like a silver bead crimp cover a silver crimp bead cover or whatever it's called because it just give it a better finish so like i'm basically done i just have to cut off this excess string but this is literally like let me actually cut this off so I'll give y'all the finished look and what I would do with this excess, see how you got like those extra strings and stuff? I would literally just pull my beads, my with my uh, my barrel class backwards, and I'm gonna thread the excess string back through the the waist bead, right, until it disappears. And you might have to actually take it your fingers and pull it through, which is fine take it back y'all don't talk about my nails or whatever because sis i ain't here for it okay i am not here for it today y'all don't do that actually y'all actually really do show love in the comments and i really do appreciate y'all like y'all the positivity the energy all of that through the comments is like the love is definitely real i love it but yeah we can cut that off a little bit more because we don't need that long of a string to be threatened through these ways these waist beads and it start popping back out and stuff like that in that time so y'all cut more of that off again thread it through back through those beads on both sides if you have to take your fingers and like because that's literally what i'm doing is taking my fingers and like pulling the string through the beads as they go through but this is literally done and then you see like you have those two finishings and it's it's pretty cool like even as a bracelet like and if you go ahead and we'll put those barrel clasps together and a barrel clasp you literally just twist it but yeah maybe one day i'll remake this and it'll definitely be better but anyway thank you for tuning in i hope that this video has helped you if let me know in the comments if you do decide to do this to try this video out and you are successful at it send me pictures if you if you are not successful at it still send me pictures i would love to see um i a couple of y'all have been sending me pictures of your waist beads and stuff like that and i really do like that like it, it definitely gives me the motivation that i need to keep making these videos for y'all because i know that they are helping so it's really really good to see um feel free to dm me on instagram if you would like to purchase your own waist beads if you don't have time to make them and you just want interested in buying waist beads or you want to start your own business you want to start your own hobby and you don't know where to get the materials from it's so confusing because i know it's a lot when you first start you can go to charmingtea.com that is my website and i will help you with all of that I have the beginner's kit on my website and I also be selling the string, the thread to make permanent waist beads on my website. I'm super excited about that. That's definitely coming within this week. So follow me on Instagram, charmantee waist beads and I will keep you guys updated for when I post that. Anyway, bye.